Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. Link saw a little bit of a sell-off and broke the recently communicated microstructure to the upside. Um, as you remember, maybe remember, we had a, the pathway laid out for one or two more highs. But I made you aware it's a very, very unreliable structure and would rather be seen as the icing on the cake because the highest probability element of this rally was already done. So, however, I highlighted even if we break below a key level, which is here $19.25, that was the swing low from the 8th of March, I would not be able to confirm that all of wave one is complete. What's wave one? Wave one is the five wave pattern that started to unfold in June last year. One, two, uh, then the third wave to the upside, fourth wave down, and this fifth wave to the upside. Yeah, I mean, it could be unfolding still. Yep, the top could be in. We cannot confirm that yet, but it needs to be taken, you know, um, from the right perspective. My idea is that we are very, very close to a top here anyway. Maybe it's been struck already, but we have five waves up already complete. That doesn't mean we have to come down. We're still moving in this trend channel. Can you see the trend channel, the parallel trend lines? Really, I want to see a break below the lower boundary line of the trend channel coupled with a break below $16.80, which is the support level. And that basically goes together because they are overlapping. To confirm that all of wave one, this initial five wave pattern really topped. And that wave two to the downside, this pullback is now unfolding. There are several, yeah, there are several support levels um, that are then relevant for this wave two. I can't really give you a support zone yet because I haven't got confirmation we've topped, but often, we see them sort of find a low in the region of a previous low of the wave four of lower degree. So that would be here around 13 to $12 maybe. So I pay attention to that area. Um, could always go lower. So I think the Fibonacci levels would rather point to slightly lower prices because I can give you a temporary area to watch, but I will take it off the chart again. Um, we would then be looking at levels in the region between, yeah, okay, $12.74, that's exactly here where the previous wave four of lower degree um, bottomed. That's the first level to watch. And it could be, I mean, in a bullish market, we might simply see um, the price get there and then take off in a wave two. Typically, we would say wave two comes down a bit lower to the 50% Fibonacci level or the golden ratio level. So that would be $10.63 or $8.87. Essentially, what could happen in such a pullback is that when we see a first move down in an A wave, normally the A wave reaches the 38.2 FIB level. Now in a bullish market, not necessarily. Okay, in a bullish market, pullbacks tend to be very shallow, but normally, under normal conditions, the A wave would reach the 38.2 FIB, then we get a B wave rally and a C wave down. And that is typically then also what people would call a head and shoulders pattern. So basically we have um, our left shoulder here then, then the head, and then this would be the A wave low. So the, uh, the, the right shoulder, the beginning of the right shoulder. Um, oh no, the right, the, the right side of the head would be the A wave. Then the B wave bounce would be the right shoulder and the C wave down would then be the last leg down that would complete uh, or that would be after the break down from the head and shoulders pattern, the break below the neckline, which would be probably around $12.74. Either way, $12.70, $12.74 is likely going to be a level that in the wave two, will be tested. If the wave two will complete there or if it will extend, we will see, but it's going to be a level that matters. Yeah, but at the moment in the very short term, it is still possible that the wave one is unfolding. Therefore, I have highlighted here that for example, wave four could finish here in a more complex, very complex um, yeah, W, X, Y structure. As long as the orange support region is holding, we could still move up from there. This would be, for example, in yellow, as I said, quite a complex W, X, Y structure. There are always multiple options for corrections or the way four is unfolding as an alternative way four still as a triangle pattern. So I added that potential to the chart today as well. That's probably the least likely option, the triangle, but I wanted to bring it onto the chart because it just shows you how we could chop around here for a bit. In a triangle, we'd be dealing with a so-called running triangle in which, um, yeah, the third wave top there, then we had 
Oh no, it actually might have topped here. And then an A wave down, right? An overshooting B wave. Then the C wave down. That was the dog. <laughs> then the D and an E. Um, not very probable. Or the third wave was actually here and we had um, all of this as an A, B. That doesn't matter so much, right? Could have, could have been this here. Yeah, but that's not so important. But I don't like the look of that triangle. I just point it out. I just point it out because it is technically possible and could mean that we are going to chop around in that area for a little longer. Also, WXY structures can always extend further. So yeah, it's quite messy up there, but it's essentially, it's also quite simple. Yeah, I mean, it's messy because the wave structures are overlapping, but that's just corrective price action. Instead of worrying about what exactly is the micro count, just take a look at support. The support area is very well defined and the levels have been holding basically for more than a month now. Yeah. So that's my update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.